welcome to Grayson's 10 month update. He is 10 months old now. He's getting so big and I'm so proud of him. Grayson is now 20.4 in um, pounds. Officially hit that 20 pound mark, which is crazy. And he is 28 and a half inches long. Grayson now has seven teeth and counting. He's got four on the bottom and three on the top, I think. And he's got another one coming on the top. So he just keeps getting more and more teeth. Um, the teething isn't too bad. I really don't notice him that much when he teases. He doesn't act like uber fussy. Um, when he first got his teeth in, he was more fussy. Um, but now it's kind of like he's gotten used to it, so it's not too bad. Grayson can now say, uh-oh. That is his new word that he has learned. He is able to say mama and dada. And now he can say, uh-oh. And he doesn't say it too often, but it's super cute when he does. Grayson loves giving kisses, um, mostly to inanimate objects like his books. If he sees babies in the books, he'll kiss it. If he sees his own reflection in the mirror, he'll kiss it. Here's some videos of that. Give the doggy a kiss. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, you like giving the doggy kisses? Oh. Oh, so nice. Yeah, you love that baby. Give ki give kisses. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Give kisses. <laughs> oh, Gray. Oh, are you giving the cow kisses? Oh, <laughs> oh that's so nice. <laughs> oh, so nice. You like giving kisses? Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. What? Uh. Kisses? You giving the cow kisses? <laughs> and he will kiss his daddy. Video of that. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Thanks, Gray Gray. <laughs> oh, so nice. Thanks, Gray Gray. <laughs> oh, so nice. Thanks, Gray Gray. But he will not kiss me. I always ask him, give mama a kiss, give mama a kiss, and he will not give me a kiss. And he knows what that means. He's just being stubborn. Grayson can go um, up the stairs like a pro when he is working on going down the stairs by himself. This past month, he was able to go down the stairs on his own twice. I mean, obviously I was right there and it was just one step, but he was able to, he was going head first and then he stopped and remembered that he needed to turn around and go backwards down the stairs. And he did that, which was really Really amazing to see he has not done it since but at least like he's done it once or twice and so like he's understanding what he needs to do Grayson still loves reading books and his favorite book right now is a dog training book he's got tons of baby books all over but his favorite is a dog training book so for Christmas I got my parents a dog training book for their dog Berkeley which is Grayson's like best friend. Grayson absolutely loves that book. He loves looking, I think he just loves looking at it because there's tons of pictures of different dogs doing the tricks on each page. But it's a really boring book to read because I end up just being like, doggy, turn the page, doggy, turn the page, doggy. But he loves it, he loves that book. And anytime he sees it, he heads straight for it. So we have to hide it from him and he demands that you read him that book. So he's very, 
very particular over that book, aren't you? Yeah, but he loves his books. He loves reading. My mom recently got him a book, and the last page has a mirror in it. And it's one of those, like, funhouse mirrors, so it's not even like you can see yourself. It makes you look, like, deformed. But he loves it, and he ends up giving the baby in the mirror kisses all the time. It's so cute. Grayson loves animals still. He loves our cat, Felix. More than Felix loves him, he loves to chase him around. Grayson's recent fun thing that he likes to watch Felix do is when I get off the laser pointer and I have Felix chase it, he thinks it's the funniest thing ever because Felix does like erratic movements trying to get the red dot and Grayson just thinks it is so funny to see. He also still loves my parents' dog, Berkeley. They are best friends, although again, Berkeley doesn't really care for Grayson that much because he is a little rough. We're still working on teaching him to be gentle. But Berkeley, anytime she barks, Grayson absolutely loves it. Here's a video of it. loves it. He thinks it's hilarious whenever she barks. He's just obsessed with her. He follows her and Felix around everywhere. Grayson can still stand up on his own. Um, this month he has increased his length of time that he can stand on his own um, to about 10 seconds at a time. So he's getting a lot better at it. His balance is getting better. We're still working on it though. He can also start walking around using like the aid of people. If they'll like hold his hands, he'll walk. Or um, just by using like the furniture, like the couch, he'll just walk around the couch. And like how cute he is. And um, yeah, he would just use that to walk around. So he's getting really close to walking. He has not took any steps by himself yet, but we are working on it. Grayson's hair is getting super long, as you can see. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. And I really don't like long hair. If you've ever seen Anthony's hair, it's always super short because I do not like long hair on guys. And so I really want to get his hair cut, but I want to wait because I just want to see like what it's going to look like if I don't touch it for a whole year. So that's my plan is I'm going to wait and then like a week before his um, photo shoot for his birthday, we're going to do like a cake smash photo shoot. I'm going to get it cut so that he looks like good for his pictures. Um, Columbus, you see that baby? <laughs> He sees himself in the in the phone. There are kids' haircut places in Columbus, and so I'm gonna take him to one of those and get his little first haircut. So um, I'll definitely have to record that because it'll be so cute, and hopefully he doesn't freak out about it too much. Grayson has become much more sassy this past month. He's always been a little sassy, um, but this past month it's gotten a lot more amplified and mostly because he now does a duck face where he um, like furrows his brows and puckers his lips. Here's video of that. <laughs> Don't know where he learned that from. I swear it wasn't me. I don't do the duck face. And Anthony's like, well, I don't do it. So I'm not sure where he learned that from, but he does it and he won't do it on command. If I try to like make the face at him or do anything, he won't do it. The most that I can get him to do it is if I tell him no. Usually if I tell him no, if he's doing something I don't want him to do, then he'll give me like the duck lip sassy face. like listen to you hi guys okay i'm back sorry yesterday was crazy grayson was upset and hungry so i had to go feed him lunch and then we just didn't have any time in the day to film the rest of the video so it's the next day but we're just gonna keep on going with the video i'm not quite sure where i left off but he is very sassy with the duck face He's also very mischievous he likes to play in the toilet water that's his new favorite thing so i have to really like watch it and make sure i put all the toilet seats down otherwise he will play in the toilet water he thinks it's like a bath because he loves splashing in the bath water so he just thinks like oh this is like water for me to splash in and he thinks that's pretty fun Grayson understands more and more words this month he understands book bottle window 
train. He has a lot of toy trains he likes to play with. Um, music, a lot of his toys play music. Um, and he knows how to dance, though he won't always do it. Shake and tap. So if I'm like, shake, 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 usually he'll take whatever he has and he'll shake it. And if I say tap, 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 he'll like tap whatever surface is near him, which is super cute. Grayson is very talkative. He talks a ton, although he only knows three words, but I feel like he's started to say like more gibberish now, like he's trying to talk in like sentences. Of course, I still don't understand what he's saying, but he will try to talk. Um, he does a lot of, oh, and like he moves his voice up and down, which is super, yeah, like that. And so it's super cute to see. And he says a lot of dada. Yeah. So he is talking a lot and grunting a lot. Grayson loves to eat. Um, he's trying more and more like adult food, whole food. So he and his favorites are waffles. We eat them every morning. Um, he loves chicken fries. Um, he likes to just eat a whole one, just like frozen from the freezer, which is hilarious. Um, he loves his puffs and like they have little like baby melts, which are like yogurt little drops that have like uh, vegetables and fruit combined. And he absolutely, yeah, he absolutely loves those. And then he loves um, ranch, ranch dressing. He absolutely loves that. And of course I'm still feeding him um, his baby food two meals a day. I'll do fruit in them for lunch, vegetables for dinner. And then uh, in the morning I, for breakfast, I've been doing like a, cereal uh banana blueberry cereal but he hasn't really been liking it. i think he's just kind of getting tired of it so i think i'm going to start doing like different breakfasts like eggs and um different fruit and cheese and stuff like that and see how that goes grayson still hates being combined um he hates being in his car seat and he hates being in his high chair so it makes it really difficult to feed him. I always have to like try to distract him by singing or if like the cat comes, then he's distracted by that and happy with that. So it's a little bit of a challenge lately. Grayson loves going to the store. We go to the grocery store um, all the time and he loves seeing all the people and the lights in the store. And of course, all the people love Grayson. He loves his formula, his milk, which I am so excited. I only have two more months of that to go and then I can stop buying it because it is so expensive. He loves his toy trains. He's got two toy trains. One, like you push it and then it'll go off on its own. And then he also has a Thomas the train. And it's so funny because a lot of his toys, like all, all, almost all of them make noise, but they all have like the most annoying and creepy voices ever. And it like creeps me out, but Grayson absolutely loves them. So it's hilarious. He likes going on walks. It's winter now, so we don't go on them very often, but sometimes we'll go to the mall or um, if we get a really warm day, then we'll go on walks and he loves being in the stroller. Now that te Grayson is 10 months old, I am starting to plan his first birthday party, which is just crazy to think about. We're gonna do an animal theme because he loves animals. We're gonna have it, like his birthday's on a Thursday this year, so we're just gonna have it on like the Saturday following that. So I'm get starting to get that together. We're gonna have a smash cake. We're gonna do a photo shoot. Um, I gotta get his hair cut. So there's like a ton of stuff coming up that we need to do and of course i'm gonna film it all and in a couple weeks we're gonna go to florida with anthony's family so that'll be fun we're gonna take grayson on an airplane the first time that only anthony and i will take grayson so hopefully we survive it's like a two hour flight so we shouldn't be too bad i've been trying to work on saying bye bye and clapping i feel like he, at 10 months he should know how to do those things and he does not which i mean i guess i don't really wave bye bye to him a lot but I do clap a lot, so we're, we're working on it. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. See you in our next video. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.